The trend in the Champions League, indeed in Europe for Tottenham Hotspur, is upward. Are they on course for another fantastic year in the Champions League? We'll soon find out, of course, but the 4-0 win over Crystal Palace at the weekend has restored a little bit of faith, a little bit of a bounce in Mauricio Pochettino's squad. How do you think Spurs have performed so far, Stevie? Um, underwhelming, disappointing. It's taken them five games to really show us what they're all about. Um, I think we saw where where Spurs are right now uh, in the, the City game. I mean, how they ended up getting a point out of that is beyond me because they got blasted. So that result against Palace really is, is the lift that they needed. Their squad and their supporters needed it badly, particularly coming into a, a Champions League weekend. How much will the priority this year be on the Champions League as opposed to the league? Uh, I think no question the priority, in my opinion, will be and should be uh, in the Premier League. You know, the, the chances of Tottenham doing what they did last season again are, are, are pretty slim, in my opinion. You know, the fact that they had got to the final in itself was a miracle. You know, they shouldn't have gotten out of the group, really. You know, they, they ended up in a situation where Barcelona didn't have to win. And they get a draw and somehow they, they clamber into the knockout stages. And then they get an unbelievable win against Manchester City. Another miracle. And then, of course, again, they get a miracle against Ajax. So the chances of that happening again, in my opinion, uh, are, are, well, they're not, they're not high. And quite frankly, having, having seen Spurs against City, that tells you where they are. And... Are they really going to outdo City in the Champions League? Are they going to get past Liverpool in the Champions League? Are they going to get past Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus? I mean, it's... it's. I don't want to be David Downer here, but it's pretty unlikely. All of that being said, and, and quite possibly true, what the the group that they're in this year should provide them some opportunity of, of safe passage, would you think? Uh, you would expect so. Uh, clearly, they're one of two sides in that group. Uh, that, that that should walk through it, you know, them and Bayern clearly are the favourites and, and that's what should happen. But we've seen already in the Premier League this year that, that Spurs are not at their best. Uh, and so if they become complacent and they think along the lines that we're talking now, then that's when you can slip up. I don't see it happening, uh, but again, if they do get through going into the, the knockout stages, Picking up one of the big boys, I'm, I'm not so confident. Certainly what Spurs are showing us right now. just want to get your thoughts on Deli Alley this season, uh, now in his fifth at Spurs, 23 years of age. It's got progressively worse since he made the breakthrough. Uh, last year it was a, an, an awful return of five Premier League goals, three assists. This year just one appearance as a substitute. It appears players like Lucas Mara and, and specifically Eric Lamella, who started every single Premier League game, seem to have taken precedent in, in Pochettino's planning? Yeah, I think this goes back to the, the second part of last season. You know, he he picked up a, a, a wrist injury. Um, now, he wasn't in particularly great form when he picked it up, but he seemed to me from then to just go downhill a little. He looked a little unsure. He was carrying it. And, of course, he kept playing. And a, a, a footballer thrives on confidence. And every time he stepped on the field for me at the back end of the season, he looked as though he was getting more drained and more drained. And it seems to have carried on to, to this year where Pochettino's not given him a chance. You know, he's, he's all about ghosting into the box and scoring goals um, and taking advantage of the space that, that Kane leaves for him. When he's not doing that, he just becomes another player. The players you're talking about, your Sons and your Lucas Moras, and Lamellas, they're dynamic players. Uh, and if you're not doing your stuff that, that Dele Alley certainly isn't doing, then those players are going to, going to be ahead of you. And that's exactly what's happened so far this season. So just to sum it up, if they get closer to Liverpool and Manchester City in the Premier League, whilst maybe a round of 16 spot in the Champions League is on the books, you would regard that as being a good year or some progress for Tottenham? <laughs> I think Tottenham will, will regard that as success. You know, I don't. I don't feel that they're a team that says we have to win trophies like Manchester City and Liverpool right now. So, I would suggest yes. Okay, we'll see if there is a trophy in there with one of the cups as well. Tottenham at the moment, starting off their Champions League campaign. We'll see if they can get the better of the likes of Olympiakos and Svena Zvezda, as well as being in Bayern Munich's group.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.